Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Welcome back to another video. I have got an amazing mansion for you here today. Wait, what's that? What? This isn't a toilet. Uh-oh, oh my gosh, what a mistake. All right, well, it is absolutely huge. Apparently it has 10 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. Now during the video, I think I got to about 12 bathrooms before I stopped counting. So I'm not exactly sure, but maybe you guys can count along as we go. So it's built in the French Chateau style. So it's got a nice stone exterior. It has vines growing out on the outside of the house. Absolutely amazing place. It's three floors. We're gonna start off on the third floor. And there's so many cool amenities here as well. I'm sitting here in the master bathroom and we'll get this show started as soon as I'm done here. So let's check out the static space. get this one started. You guys are gonna absolutely love this location. <clears throat> so we're starting here on the third floor. Now this doesn't look like much where we're starting, but I promise you it's gonna be good. We won't spend too much time up here because even though this is a really nice area, it just gets even better. This mansion was built in 1985 on two lots in the Bridal Path neighborhood of Toronto, Canada and was designed to resemble a French style chateau. The 30,000 square foot mega mansion had 10 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms and was located on a huge four acre property that also included a tennis court. It had a granite cobblestone driveway, a horseshoe staircase at the back, and extensive gardens which completed the experience of living in a castle in France. Originally built by Robert Compo, a financier and real estate developer. Robert began his career by building just one single house in 1949 in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. His company, then known as Compo Corp, was also responsible for building Scotia Plaza, a high-rise built in 1988 in the Financial District of Toronto, as well as the Harbour Castle Hotel in 1975. In the 80s, Compo began a series of leveraged buyouts, both in Canada and the United States. The final company was Federated Department Stores, the owners of Bloomingdale's, for $7 billion. This was the beginning of the end for Compo Corp, as they filed for bankruptcy in 1990, one of the largest in history. Robert was forced to sell the home in 1990. I don't know. 
someone said they were gold, but there's no way that they're like solid gold. But then you can see the, the green there. So that's definitely brass. But those could be gold. Gold plated anyway. I'll have to see if I can confirm that. So that would mean it's the same thing with, with these. I don't know. I mean, I guess it could be. It's very golden color. Like I said, I'll see if I can figure that out and confirm whether or not that's the case. That's just more attic space, I think. Yeah. But yeah, like these floors are amazing. And so anyway, so when they renovated this place, they actually brought in like a lot of the materials are European, right? Well, that's strange. This door is crooked. Huh? Or maybe the, the whole hallway's crooked. I don't know. That's a bit weird. Yeah, so they flew in, they brought in all these like European materials, right? Because this, this place was built originally like a, a French Chateau style place. So I guess to keep with that, you know, that theme, so this is the third bathroom, they decided to, you know, spare no expense. But just amazing, I mean that, so this is like the most expensive, oh wow, quite like that. The most expensive house ever listed in Canada. And yeah, that took a new record of what used to be the most expensive house ever listed. And I had actually visited that location as well. Unfortunately, that was several years ago and so I don't have video of that. I only have photos from there and I probably only have a few, but I'm proud to say that, you know, I've been to both those locations. So here's like more extensive attic space. But there's no point in going up there. I mean, it's not that interesting. The good part of this house is yet to come. Best parts, I should say. But yeah, like I said, this staircase is great. A little disappointing to see it painted, but I don't know, I guess most people just don't like wood, right? Oh boy, here we go. Big closet there. Lots of attic storage space in here. Huh, another staircase like that, like the first one we saw. And look at this carpeting. Absolutely incredible. Is this bathroom number four, I guess? I'm not gonna count, I'm gonna lose count. I know it, cause I'm, you know, there's so many things going through my mind already that I always lose count. Look at that. It's quite the, the shower. And look at these tassels here. So they can tie back the shower curtain and, you know, make it look all fancy. You definitely have to have money for this sort of a place. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't see it looking that way. So I guess these are just closets here. Yeah. But yeah, there used to be a TV up there. So this must have been like one entire bedroom. It's not the master or anything like that, but. Oh, check this out. 
Oh, this is an alarm panel. Wow. Lamp test, alarm silence, standby pump. Huh. Never seen anything like that before. That is a nice staircase though, even on its own. Just wait until you see the main staircase. Oh, this is cool. Like even look at these wrought iron railings here. Like those are so fancy. What is that? It kinda looks like a dragon. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, the Thundercats logo, just a bit. Uh, bathroom number five. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Very retro. Yeah, this is definitely 80s in here. Okay, yeah, I can believe this house was built in the 80s then. I mean, up until this point, I was thinking, this doesn't look very 80s to me at all. Huh. Yeah, so I guess it's the new fixtures that that must be gold plated because those old ones aren't at all. But yeah, like look at these handles. Unbelievable. Okay, so here is one of the amazing parts of this house. This is crazy. This is all part of the front foyer. Absolute insanity. Like, look at this domed ceiling. That is just craziness. So you used to have a nice big chandelier hanging there. It's a shame it's already gone. But I can't say I'm entirely surprised. All right, we'll come back to that area at least a couple times throughout the video. Okay, so this must be the master bedroom. Really liking this arch here. And we got the walk-in closet, I guess. Oh no, this is, okay. We'll come back to that area. That's not part of the master anymore. Not part of the bedroom. Yeah, I should also mention that this place is going to be demolished. Surprisingly, you know, I mean, place was listed for 40 million and they're just gonna Demolish it just like that. Unbelievable. Look at this fireplace though. The detail in this work is really, really nice. It's pretty cool. Marble facing. I mean, sure, it's not like three, four, five hundred years old like some of the French chateaus that it's designed on, but okay, this is the walk in closet. Wow. But still pretty cool. This is just Canada, right? This is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. It's so interesting. In terms of these mirrors here with the with the beauty bulbs and everything. Does this open? Oh my gosh, this opens too. Oh no. Oh wow. I didn't realize that. So you can, <laughs> you can close up these mirrors a bit so you can just like almost get a 360 degree view of yourself. That is pretty crazy. 
I've never seen that before. Unbelievable. Be interesting to see what this place looked like when it still had power. Look at the, I don't know if these, these must be hand painted. Oh my gosh, I think they are. Maybe anyway. Wow. Pretty cool stuff. There's going to be nothing in these cupboards, but can you imagine having all of this closet space here? Like the amount of clothes you would have to have to, to make use of all this space. And then here we've got the master bath and this place is just insane. Like, wow. Got the shower here. We've got more. More painting. You know, stone countertops. This is another favorite part of the house for me. Look at this. Absolute insanity. That stained glass window is just incredible. Wow. <laughs> this bathtub is really cool. It looks comfy too. Got your bidet and your toilet. And then there's your view outside. It's pretty overgrown now, but at one point in time, that would have been absolutely incredible. The house was purchased in 2002 by Harold and Sarah Springer, who entrusted architect Gordon Ridgely, interior designer Brian Gluckstein, and landscape architect Ronald Holbrook to bring their vision to life. They brought in 17th century antique furniture from France, original Royal Academy paintings, Italian marble, and even crystal chandeliers. Other features of the large house included a two-story indoor Olympic-sized swimming pool with a retractable floor that converts into a ballroom. It also had an elevator, an oakwood bar, recording studio, and even its own bomb shelter. The mansion has been featured in several movies, including Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's It Takes Two, Kissinger and Nixon, That Old Feeling, as well as most recently in an episode of Suits. A party was also held for Jane Fonda in the two-story ballroom, which was then disassembled overnight so that Compo could swim in the pool the next day with Pierre Elliott Trudeau. And you've got the bathroom here. This is bathroom number eight. Jeez. Marble threshold for the shower. Guess it's marble. A little vanity here. Even these windows are quite nice. Oh, look at this floor. Unbelievable. It's a little room here. 
nothing too interesting to see. And then we've got a big cedar line closet. Wow. Oh, wow. Huh. This is actually pretty cool. I love the smell of these closets too. I just like the shape of this one. It's quite nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this room. And because of all the vines on the windows, it creates this, this green light coming in. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Look at these curtains too. Yeah, this room's really, really cool. Yeah, you can see where the chandelier was. Again, it's a shame that they've already taken all those out, but you know, it is what it is. Seriously, I cannot get over this view here. That's just incredible. Absolutely unbelievable. I don't know why they got duct tape down on the ground there. Yeah, same deal with this room. Definitely has a green look. Yeah, the other TV in here. Wow. It's quite the mess of cables. Closet. Bathroom number nine, I think. Oh, wow. Look at the sink. Shirley Ragnar, New York, I guess. Yeah, New York. Wow. Wow, that is, those are really nice. And a huge shower, got a party shower here. Party shower. All right, let's take a look at the staircase, walking down it. Unbelievable. <clears throat> oh boy, this view. Yeah, I could look at that for quite a while, to be honest. Very, very impressive. Wow. All that detail on the wood there. Oh, I didn't even notice the, uh, the newel posts there. Are these like that? No, these aren't the same. Let's take a quick, quick detail look at those newel posts because those are actually really nice. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know why they painted over them though. That's a shame. 
I don't think I've even been to this part of the house. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the ceiling. That is insane. Wow. Yeah. This place is just incredible. Oh, bathroom. No, it's not a bathroom. Oh, this is like a kitchen prep area, I think. Yeah. Okay, so here's the kitchen. And I don't know, honestly, it's a little bit smaller than I would have expected. I think it's big, but I don't know. I guess I just expected more. Yeah, it definitely looks like they're starting to repurpose parts of this place because you can see the cupboards missing here. some nice ovens. Look at this countertop too. <laughs> Four gas burners plus two, I don't know, convection I guess you call those. Electric burners. Okay, this is really cool because here these are the blueprints. for the house. Which I find really interesting. That's really, really cool. Wow. Unbelievable place. Oh, this is bathroom number nine. Okay. Yeah, and that just goes upstairs. We've still got the basement as well, but we're not even done the ground floor yet. Oh, here we go. Garage, four car garage. You know, pretty standard, standard four car garage. Not much in here, but it's friggin' huge. Oh wow, I didn't even notice this, this fireplace here originally. Huh. Boy. Really nice stone. Oh my gosh. This room is insane. This is like a party room. Got some balloons in here. Wow. Jeez, all the natural light coming in here. Just unbelievable. And look at this fireplace. That's crazy. There would have been a chandelier hanging from there. It's very pink though, it's surprising to see. Sure beats white though. And the 
woodwork up there. Wow, what an incredible place. Well, this room's a bit dark. Just a little dark. It's got this big Japanese maple in front of it. Blocking all the light. Wow. Oh, look at this. We've got all the, this was all stuff that was part of the entertainment system. And we've got the phones here. It's a lot of phones, my God. Jeez. Big screen TVs, Elite. They're both Elite brand. I don't know if that's expensive brand or what, but sounds like it. Lots of wood. This is a really nice room. Look at this TV though, it's huge. What's that, like 100 inches? Wow, unbelievable. These doors are pretty incredible too. Don't know how this happened, but didn't really take a good look at the front door. So let's take a nice look here. The other reason I came back here is because I missed two more rooms. Nice with the sunlight coming in, creating that pattern on the floor. And then look at the ceiling here. So here's bathroom number 10, I believe. This one's nice as well. Number 10, and here's number 11. This one's much darker. Yeah, look at this room though. Absolutely unbelievable. Really nice dark wood in here. Oh boy. Such a nice room. Oh, this place just gets better and better as you go along. Look at this. So this looks like it's meant to look like a little, you know, downtown Paris scene type of thing. Fabrique de Jouet, yeah. Definitely that European look to it. Cartier. Antiques. Paolo, Moulin Rouge. Place, Place Blanche. Les Gabot. We've even got some decay in here, so I guess there's been some water leaking. Oh, even look at the floor here. Tiled flooring. The ceiling's painted like a sky. Unbelievable. And through here, you wouldn't even know it. There's a whole other room. Oh, why doesn't this open? Oh, I guess that doesn't open. But look at this. This is the indoor pool. This is insanity. 
absolute craziness. What amazes me is that this pool is still blue. I don't even understand that. I mean, it's been sitting stagnant like this for quite a while, so yeah. Oh, here we go. Check out this spiral staircase. Boy, this room is incredible. Absolutely unbelievable. It's like an alarm system or something there. But all the wood detail in this one. just blows my mind. Now this is something I have never seen before in my life. Aerotone bath. Hyde Cheshire. So you guys can let me know down in the comments what this is. I've never seen something like this before. I'm guessing it's some sort of a, you know, like a hot tub type of thing. For one person, obviously. SSV Limited, High Cheshire. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Surround air diffuser, central air diffuser, cold water, hot water. So yeah, it's basically like a, a hot tub, right? That's really cool though. It's dark in here though. Very, very dark. weird because it's got this like the water has this sort of white film on top of it let's take a closer look unbelievable quite the view. Huh. Little storage cubbies. Unbelievable pool room though, I must admit. Just crazy. All right, down to the basement. The Springers listed the chateau for sale, including all of its contents, starting in 2014 for $25 million and was last publicly listed in 2018 for $39.5 million. Finally, the home was purchased by Nascond Holdings in 2020 for $30.8 million. Nascond Holdings is a company owned by the Muzo Group, which is a well-known development company in the area. Marco Muzo caused a drunk driving crash that killed four people and seriously injured two others. It was a very high profile incident several years ago because of his ties to such a wealthy family. There was also a guest list of people found in the home, including Marco's name as the host of the party. The mansion was demolished shortly after my visit in August of 2022.
Not much happened after that until more recently when some activity began to happen on the property. Ferris Rafali, who was also behind Drake's Bridal Path Mansion, is the designer and builder behind the new mansion that will take shape in the coming years. Yeah, this whole basement is, is dark because there's no power. Oh boy, look at this room though. But there's a lot of cool stuff to see down here. Fireplace, this is a really nice fireplace. What is that? Looks like the thing that goes in front of the fireplace. Nice wood beam there. Yeah, all the wood in here is just incredible. And this bar. Wow. Stained glass up there. Oh, that's a candle. Huh. Warning you now, guys. This is turning out to be a long video. I don't know. I may end up breaking it up into two parts. I'm not entirely sure. We will have to see. Boy, all the wood. Oh, check out this wallpaper. So what are these areas? Oh, it's change room. Another change room. Nice, lots of, oh, geez, lots of cedar in here. What is the deal with this? So we broke one of the light fixtures, I guess. Oh, here's bathroom number 12. So two more, I think. Yep, very 80s. This is where the 80s shows. Like a brown toilet. You don't see that very often. Got the shower. Oh boy. And the, the, uh, the sauna here. Yep, quite a nice, quite a nice place so far. And there's still more stuff to see. Oh wow, got a safe down here. This is quite the safe actually. It's, uh, wow, it's massive. Like this door is heavy almost as heavy as a bank vault. Adenac security. Got some more HVAC stuff in here. Yeah, nothing too interesting. Oh, got something leaking there. got this room here oh boy and then this whole room here hey so this place just keeps going and going and going oh bathroom number 13 so we're only looking for one more oh boy look at this we've got this recording studio here soundproof booth oh this is cool Yeah, you can see some of the... 
The sound dampening stuff is falling off the wall. Wow. Yeah, as soon as you walk in here, it sounds very quiet and you don't hear much of an echo at all. Totally changes the, uh, the, the vibe of the sound. Yeah, it's all just like HVAC stuff. Yeah, we've got cupboards here. This one, this cupboard here, I guess. Oh, what is this? What? Told you guys, this place is just full of stuff. Oh my gosh. What is this? Unbelievable. No power, unfortunately. This is a tunnel. What is up with that? I think this might be a bunker. Oh my gosh. Absolutely crazy. Oh, here's another door. Wow, that's thick too. Bit of rust. I guess because it's underground, right? So there's too much moisture in here. Oh, got a dehumidifier. Whirlpool. Yeah, I mean, I guess all the rooms in here are kind of empty, but this is really cool because this is a bunker inside this mansion. Unbelievable. Oh, here's where all your, your water and stuff would have been. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's in here? Oh, it looks like a water tank possibly, or maybe, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe you'd take a bath in there? Like if you were stuck in here for a long period of time? Oh, there's another bathroom. I don't think that counts as number 13 though. Cause uh, I don't know, maybe it does. We'll see. And here's the generator, I guess. So they'd need power. Like it's a power got cut, but this is the craziest part. Like, look at this. So then this, this is like a tunnel that goes down. I mean, this is probably wastewater here, maybe. Or actually, maybe that's the, uh, yeah, it's either wastewater or for the, the vent for the diesel generator, but. Wow, that is just insane. That's pretty hidden too. Oh boy. Look at the shelf paper. That, I don't know, that, uh, that bunker was just a complete surprise. That's an unbelievable. Oh, wow. This looks like some expensive uh, laundry equipment. Dryer. Two dryers and two washers. Yep, mealy. Definitely expensive stuff. And looks like you got a cooler here. Valley refrigeration. But you wouldn't want to go in there and let the door close because, yeah, you'd get locked in. They don't have the emergency, uh, the latch so you can get out. So 
a little scary. Hate to get locked in there, it stinks too. Doesn't smell good anyway. It kind of smells like chemicals or whatnot. Wonder if, no, I think you'd be locked in there. Yeah, that would be absolutely terrifying. And here's the elevator in the basement. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh boy, and we've even got a wine cellar here. 1984 Chardonnay, 1985 Picolit, 1976 Figiac. Oh, I don't know, I can't even read most of these. Yeah, but all sorts of old and probably expensive wines. Wow, that is just unbelievable. Hold a lot of wine in there, no doubt about it. Yeah, it was refrigerated too. Well, there's a, a balloon in better shape. Another cedar line closet here. All right, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Absolutely incredible location. I don't think I've been in a place this big before. There's one other one that was about this big and it actually may have been a little bit bigger. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, I mean this indoor pool here and you know this, this jacuzzi type tub over here, that staircase, the master bedroom. The, oh, and of course the bunker. That is absolutely incredible. So I had so much fun exploring this one and I hope you guys did too. Don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Throw a comment down below if you have absolutely anything to say. Don't ask me where these places are. That's the only thing I will not share. But other than that, I really encourage the comments. Share it, of course, if you think there's anyone that might wanna see it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more of this type of content. And I'll see you at the next. Static space. Oh, hey guys. All right, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. All right. It's absolutely huge. Apparently it has 10 bathrooms. At, no, sorry. Mm. All right, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Really hope you enjoyed this, uh,